you guys doing? God, this was a long day. How are you guys doing? I welcome you to the first lecture of understanding time, speed, and distance. This is our first lecture on this particular concept, time, speed, and distance. In today's concept, what we are going to look at is everything basic that you'd require in order to answer questions from time, speed, and distance, right? So we'll not only cover the basics, we will also be looking at a lot of shortcuts, a lot of tricks that you can use in order to answer questions in a more time efficient manner, keeping in mind that it would increase your accuracy as well. Uh -huh. Are you guys ready? Wow, wow, so many people already waiting. Hi, hello, hello Karan. Hi Anuj. Anuj, I'm doing great, man. Thank you for asking. Thank you so much. Hi, Aju. Hi, Vibor. I'm doing great, buddy. Uh, Beneath, Rishikesh, hello. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. I hope you guys had a great day today. Yeah, Friday. Anything special? Anything special this Friday? Only thing, only thing special is it's, you know, uh, approaching the weekend. Yes. Just that it wouldn't make a big difference now. Yeah. <clears throat> Great. Hi. Hi, Ankit. Hello. <clears throat> There's so many people today. Ayush. Hello. Hi, Shubham. Hi, Shubhashish. Hello, Deepak. Hi, Jasmine. Thank you very much, Deepak, for asking. I'm doing amazing. I can't have, you know, done better than this. <clears throat> Great. Hi, Nathan. Hi. Hello, good evening, good evening. So do we have anyone new here? Anyone who hasn't been watching my videos or who hasn't been attending my sessions live? Anyone who wants to, you know, introduce themselves? Anyone who wants to show that, you know, this is the first session you heard about me from someone or from somewhere, or you suddenly realize that, yeah, I have to start preparing for CAT and why not join an academy's CAT? Hi, 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 hi. Altamash, Chaya, Piyush, hello. Great, Subhashish is new here. Great, welcome, welcome. Altamash, Shubham is new, great. Chalo, so uh, it becomes my duty. I am ob obligated to introduce myself to you, even though everything is very clear who I am, but Still, I'm going to do that and everyone who's been listening to me, this is the 18th time you'd be listening to me say this. My name is Amit Surana. I am an aeronautical engineer from Chennai. I have over five plus years of teaching quantitative aptitude and I've helped two lakh students achieve their aims. If you're planning on sharing this on any of your social media platforms, which I don't see is happening though, Right, but I'm assuming you guys are doing because a lot of you say that you are doing. I'm assuming you guys are sharing this on your social media platforms, right? Uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever. Yes, do not forget to use hashtag cat live daily because I am training you for cat and this is happening live and we do it daily. Yes, makes sense, right? Like, like an hashtag that actually makes sense. Yes. Okay, and if you guys are planning, so anyone who's new here and if you're planning on, you know, being part of a community, yes, we have this group on Telegram app, yes, for uh, people who are aspiring to clear CAT, yes, and everyone, everyone has their, uh, you know, dreams up high, right? So if you're planning on joining this vibrant group, all you have to do is type in this URL, tinyurl.com backslash chat after downloading the Telegram app and you'll be redirected to the group. And if you're planning on, you know, having a conversation with me, I am also a part of this group. I'm one of the admins. You can anytime, uh, you know, without hesitating, have a conversation with me. In fact, a lot of you are doing that already. Yes, and I've actually, you know, had, a, had some interesting conversations with a lot of you. Yes, superb. Okay. First time attending this class, very nice, very nice, Anshika. Uh, Altamash Khan, very nice. Welcome, hi Chaya, new here. Anvesh is new here, Dimple is new. Pratibha, 
yeah pratik yeah i remember you attending my session but and then but then it seems like you know you were gone somewhere suddenly yeah okay welcome welcome to the session yes uh vinith hi vinith i know i know you very very old yes uh shubham is new and you're preparing for it mat of course of course so if so that's the case right if you prepare for cat then you almost right almost like 99 percentage of every other test preparation is done here because we do not only focus on cat right if you notice we also focus on you know how to deal with concepts right so that's the aim here not only to help you clear cat but any other exams in the same line any other test which are in the same line you can always clear them yes super bhai yash hi vijay hi namisha aju uh, aju hi yaar pic change karna padega but i am hoping that after a little more hair grows then i'm going to change the picture yes okay hi nitin uh you haven't found the telegram group don't worry don't worry we'll send in the link to the telegram group in some time right you can click on that and join yes of course i'll do it shubhashish hello prince hi <clears throat> Balram and okay Balram you solved 1992 ka cat actually after that right after that the pattern has changed a couple of times yes although the questions are similar right difficulty level upar niche ho raha hai right just just few uh, changes you know in the level of the difficulty of these questions and pattern mein thoda sa badlav aaya apart from that everything still remains the same right everything is old school yeah no issues no issues balram all these concepts all these concepts we are planning on covering right we geometry trigonometry polynomials algebra everything everything we are planning on covering it yes superb chaya faces problems in modern maths okay girish is old uh, hi isha hi pratik okay no issues no issues everybody has got office work right yeah it's it's actually very nice that you are planning on you know uh working while you're planning on taking cat because a lot of them uh take a break because they want to concentrate 100% but uh, suit yourself right like whatever you think you are comfortable with go ahead with that okay okay great superb superb dark rebel is new here okay all right yeah aju aju on point on point okay i didn't know that introduction is a time waste but anyway All right, chalo. Let's begin with uh, time, speed, and distance. This is my first lecture on time, speed, and distance. In today's session, what we are going to look at are a few basic questions, a few basic concepts that will help you build a strong foundation for the complex questions. Right. So uh, the aim for us to, you know, the the aim, uh, uh, the agenda for today. Let's call it agenda instead of aim. The agenda for today's session would be to cover the basics of time, speed, distance. also have a look at what average speed means and what relative speed means right so that is the aim for today's session yes which will again be extremely helpful for a lot of concepts that are yet to come so let's begin with the basics of speed yes what do you know about speed speed is nothing but the amount of distance covered over time yes amount of distance covered over unit time is nothing but speed yes If you notice, this is very, very similar to efficiency that we've seen in the previous set of lectures, right? Efficiency was work, work over time, where the work here is nothing but you know covering some distance, and the efficiency is nothing but the speed at which this distance is covered, the rate at which this distance is covered, right? So this is very basic, something that everybody knows. Yes. So let's go on with a simple question to begin with. There's a question on the screen. Let's see if you can quickly solve it. I don't want you to take any more than you know twenty seconds to answer this question. Yes. Uh, Redox. Yes, that is the plan. We'll be covering that as well. Uh, Nimisha. Okay, got it. We will cover simple interest, compound interest as well. Although, although. Uh, we okay, are not very frequently seen but then there would be you know at least a question or at most a question in every slot so yes uh 
Uh, Shubhashis, this could be, yes. I think we're back on track. Yes, guys. Are you able to hear me though? Okay, you're able to hear me, but then, oh, come on. Super, super, we are back, we are back. Uh, why is that happening though? Yeah, we're back. <laughs> Are we back? Yeah. Okay. Superb. Superb. Okay. No issues. No issues. Yeah. All all I had to do was, you know, uh, uh, okay. All right. No issues. We're back. We're back. Yes. Now, a lot of you, a lot of you fell for a very simple trap here, right? Answer option A is not correct. Yes. This, uh, my intention with giving, you know, starting with a question like this is to tell you that apart from the numbers, right, apart from the numbers, the units also have some importance here. Yes. So do not, every time you look at a question, do not directly jump in only for the numbers. Also go for the units and other words also, right? So 20 kilometers is covered in 20 minutes. So one kilometer per hour is obviously not the speed. Yes. And what you have to look at here is, you know, that speed is nothing but distance over time yes the distance is 20 kilometers time is 20 minutes which you have to convert in terms of hours how much is 20 minutes in terms of hours yes divide minutes by 60 you would get it in terms of hours so all you have to do is what this so my answer is actually 60 kilometers per hour or in other words in other words what do you have to do in other words, what do you have to do? 20 minutes, 20 kilometers. Yes, in 20 minutes, a person can cover 20 kilometers. In 40 minutes, he'd be able to cover 40 kilometers, right? Double the time. In 60 minutes, 60 kilometers. 60 minutes is nothing but what? One hour. Yes. So in one hour, 60 kilometers is basically means what? The speed is 60 kilometers per hour, right? So that's the idea a lot of you fell for this yes i i didn't you know intend to make you fall for this trap but then okay <laughs> this worked out yes and 20 by 3 20 by 3 you would you would end up with an answer like this if you make a mistake with the conversion instead of dividing with 60 if you were to you know multiply with 60 you would end up with not even 20 by 3 you would end up with 1 by 60 yes so do not make this mistake guys yes all these are wrong our answer is what 60 kilometers an hour Yes, super. Great. Ha, Piyush, you can also consider it every minute, right? One kilometer every 20 kilometers in 20 minutes, one kilometer every minute for 60 minutes, 60 kilometers, all the same, right? Or all you have to do is what? Just triple the uh, distance and the time because when speed is constant, when speed is constant, Distance and time are directly proportional, right? That, that uh, you know, uh, brings us to the part where we talk about units, right? Now, it's very important, very important for us to know about units and their conversion because a lot of questions can actually be based purely on this. Yes, like a question like this, right? Otherwise, this doesn't deserve uh, to be in any, any aptitude test, right? If it were 20 kilometer and 20 hours, then for any test, any quantitative aptitude test, this shouldn't be a part of it, yes? Okay, so let's let's go ahead. Yes, let's look at the unit conversion. Yes, now we know that kilometer per hour is not the SI unit. Yes, this is the unit that we use. Yes, because it becomes very handy for us. Yeah, and because this was used by the English. Yes, so English people, they used to use kilometers per hour. That's why we gotten used to it, right? Otherwise, the SI unit, right? The standard unit of... Uh, speed is meter per second. Yes. So if at all you have a question that wants you to convert, you know, uh, 
meter per second to kilometer per hour or kilometer per hour to meter per second this is all you have to do right you know that one kilometer is thousand meters and one hour is three thousand six hundred seconds yes do not make a mistake in this guys one hour is not 60 seconds it's 60 minutes and every minute is 60 seconds so 3600 seconds right and one kilometer per hour would basically be in mean what one kilometer is thousand meters and one hour is 3600 so if i cancel this out i'd end up having what five by 18 right so if i divide this by 200 i'd have five over 18 yes so one kilometer per hour is five by 18 meter per second or in other words, one meter per second, yes, is 18 by five kilometers per hour. Yes. Do you get it? Yeah. Uh, Girish, the weightage for time, speed and distance is as good as time and work, right? A couple of questions in every slot. Yes, so you could see, you know, anything around two questions, right? Anywhere around two questions. Yes, so at most two questions you can see in every slot of CAT with respect to time, speed and distance. Yes, so this is as good as time and work is. Yeah. All right. Now let's let's since we've you know known about the units, let's see if we can quickly test this out, right? Here's a question for you again. Pete can ride 300 meters on his bike in one minute. What is his speed? Yes. So all we have to do here is what? Find out Pete's speed. Girish, both both you would have both MCQ as well as TITA. Yes. Deepak, yes, it is important for IPMAT as well. Yeah. Uh, Nikki, so far we've completed, this is our fifth topic. So we've completed percentages, we've completed profit and loss, mixtures and allegations, time and work, and this is time, speed, distance. Yes. Right. So what is the answer? Uh, Anuj says 3000, Tane says 18, Anuj 300. Okay, so 300 would be wrong, Anuj, of course. Yes, because what is asked? 300 meters is the distance covered in one minute. Yes. So meters per minute is no unit, right? Meters per minute is not a unit at all, right? It's either kilometers per hour or meters per second. So you have to convert either this into kilometers and this into hours or even better convert this entire thing into meter per second and then convert meter per second to kilometer per hour. So what would be speed? Speed would be distance that is 300 over one minute, right? One minute in terms of seconds would be what? 60 seconds, yes. So can I say that the speed is five meters per second? Yes. Now meter per second needs to be converted to kilometer per hour, yes. So five meter per seconds in terms of kilometers per hour would be what? Into 18 by five. You have to remember this guys, not five by 18 because that will be kilometers per hour, two meter per second, right? So what do you get? 18 to be the answer. Yes, so 18 kilometers per hour is the answer. It's a very basic question, I understand. But then the aim here is to help you understand what units are and how important they are. Okay, now what you have to keep in mind here guys, right? A simple logic for you to remember this 5 by 18, 18 by 5, right? The number, for example, x in terms of kilometers per hour, yes, would always be greater than y, which is in terms of meters per second. As in, see, 5 meter per second is 18 kilometers per hour. So speed in terms of kilometer per hour is always greater than meters per second. Got it? Yes, so our answer is 18 kilometers per hour. And this is the conversion of the units. Yes, everyone comfortable? Yeah, so we've covered the basics of it. If you want to celebrate, go ahead and do that. Write a quick sip. Great, super. Now let's move on to the next concept, right? The next concept is the relationship between time, speed and distance. Yes, just like in time and work, we spoke about the relationship. 
yes how each of these entities are related to each other when one of these entities are kept constant yeah for example here if the time is constant we all know we all know that distance is feed into time yes so if time is kept constant if time is kept constant then distance and speed are directly proportional yes so the other entities distance and speed directly proportional in other terms if i have one hour right if i have one hour yes let's put it this way if the time is one hour yes if i travel faster yes let's say if my speed is 20 kilometers per hour yes i'd be able to cover 20 kilometers correct because every hour 20 kilometers so the distance would be 20 kilometers if if in the same one hour if i try to drive faster right if i drive at 40 kilometers per hour then what would happen to the distance i would cover 40 kilometers yes how because when time is constant when time is constant yes speed and distance are directly proportional which means if this goes double this also goes double got it yes or if this goes you know a quarter divide by four let's say if i travel at 10 kilometers per hour then this will also go a quarter which means i'll travel 10 kilometers do you get do you understand right so when time is constant distance and speed are directly proportional that's the idea here yes <clears throat> now now let's move on right let's move on to the next entity if speed is kept constant yes if speed is kept constant then what happens to time and distance yes you do not even have to remember this you just have to think logically right if i travel at the same speed let's say if i travel at 20 kilometers per hour yes if i travel at 20 kilometers per hour yes if i travel for one hour how much distance can i cover 20 kilometers yes if i travel for two hours how much distance would i cover 40 kilometers correct so what is happening here if my time gets doubled the distance also gets doubled which means when speed is kept constant yes time and distance are directly proportional yes so when speed is kept constant time and distance is proportional which basically means what if i have a fixed speed yes more the distance more the time simple as that right and third case where we have you know uh, distance being constant right so here is the stinger right when distance is constant for example if i were to cover uh, 100 kilometers yes the distance i have to cover is 100 kilometers yes if i travel at 10 kilometers per hour yes if i travel at 10 kilometers per hour i'd be able to cover this in one hour sorry 10 hours yes if i travel at 20 kilometers per hour what happens would it take me 20 hours to cover it no it would take me five hours yes so what's happening here when the speed went double the time went half or in other terms when the distance is constant yes then time and speed are inversely proportional yes this basically means what if i have to cover the same distance the faster i go less time i would take yes the slower i go more time i would take. got it yes uh nikki yes one one class per day we have one class on quantitative aptitude and one class on uh, vars got it so is the relationship part of it uh, clear for you yes okay aju uh, uh yeah we'll we'll try and uh, inculcate that right yes superb yeah yeah i understand this concept is easy but then this concept is very important right the relationship between each of these uh, uh entities is very important for us to be able to answer questions that have complex information yeah so a simple question for you a simple question for you is here on the screen yes what should be the answer to this question if a driver increases the speed of his car by one third then how does his time of journey get affected yes can you guys quickly answer this question 
if a driver increases the speed of his car by one third, the increase in the speed is one third, yes. And the question is asking, how would the time get affected? Any questions here, guys? Any, any answers? Yes, any answers? Uh, when will we start LRDI? Okay, DI LR, the plan is up. Yes, the moment we complete all basic concepts, then we'll move on to DI LR. Yeah. Super clear like Sprite. Super. Okay, right. Uh, are you the brand ambassador? Yeah. So a few answers. Some say B, some say A, some say D. Okay. Okay, all right. Now, what is one thing that we know for sure? What is the one thing that we know for sure? That here in this case, right? In this case, it's understood that the distance is kept constant. Yes, because the distance would not change here. Yeah, they're saying the speed. Yeah, so what do we know about speed and time, guys? Speed and time are inversely proportional. Yes, which means if speed increases. Yes, if speed increases, time has to decrease. Yes, so I can eliminate options A and B. Yeah, sorry, the other way around, my bad. I can eliminate options A and C. Yes, so options A and C are eliminated. Now between 33.33 percentage decrease and 25 percentage decrease, I have to choose. Yes, everybody knows, everybody who's attended my percentages session knows for a fact, right? Even others know for a fact that percentage increase, yes, percentage increase, and percentage decrease are not equal ever ever never ever equal right which means one third is nothing but 33.33 percent so 33.33 percent increase will not lead to 33.33 percent decrease which means the only answer left is what option d 25 percentage yes and if you were to answer this question the fastest way right you can always go ahead and use equations you can always go ahead and assume a number and then deal with it but the fastest way to deal with any question that you know relates to the relation between time distance and speed is what using this concept a by n increase yes do you remember this if there is a by n increase in any one of the entities that are inversely proportional then the other entity would decrease by what a by n plus a correct so if we have an increase in the speed by 1 by 3 yes the speed increases by one third then what happens to the time it decreases by 1 by 3 plus 1 which is 1 by 4 yes one fourth decrease is nothing but 25 percent decrease yeah so for a question like this, for a question like this, whenever, whenever a question deals with increase and decrease in speed, time, distance, whatever, right? You can always blindly believe on the relationship. Yes. And if they are inversely proportional, then go for this. Got it? Yes. Super guys, super. Uh, Redox answer option G to hai nahi. Yes. Hmm. So, okay guys, I think I think you've understood this concept. Yes, this is the place where we'd be using a percentage increase and decrease. Am I clear? New join is ke B I hai. That is probably because you were not, uh, you did not go through the percentages session, but don't worry. If you want me to take an example and I help you explain, I can do that, right? So let's say, let's say that, uh, you know, 300 kilometers is to be covered yes the distance to be covered is constant 300 kilometers yes now if i assume the speed is so this is the distance right distance is 300 kilometers the speed is 30 kilometers per hour and the time would be how much 10 hours yes so 30 kilometers per hour at 10 hour, for 10 hours would help me cover 300 kilometers yes now the same 300 kilometers are to be covered yes at a speed that is one third more than this so one third more than this would be what guys 30 30 is one third would be what 10 so 40 kilometers per hour if i travel right to cover 300 uh, you know kilometers at 40 kilometers per hour it would take me what 7.5 hours yes why because 40 into 7.5 is 300 or 300 by 40 is 7.5 correct so here if you see here we see a 1 by 3 increase yes so if the speed increases by 1 by 3 look at this there's a drop in the time by what 
2.5 for 10 hours is what? 25 percentage, which is nothing but one fourth decrease. Yes, so when there is A by N increase, yes, this will lead to A by N plus A decrease. This is the Brahmastra that you can actually use in most questions that relate, uh, you know, two entities as inversely proportional. I hope this helps. Yes. This is not right. Why is it buffering again? Yeah. Well, Rama, I don't understand your question. One third decrease three x q nahi hai. Nahi samajh bana. Okay, so this ye, concept is clear, hai guys. Do you all understand what this concept is, how important this concept is, and the reason why I was stressing on the relationship? Yes. So if you understood this, guys, then this question should be very simple for you to deal with. Go ahead and answer this question. Yes. Again, a question that should not take you more than 20 seconds to answer. 20 seconds itself is an overstatement for a question like this. Go ahead, guys. Yes, superb, superb. Great, I'm glad you're able to understand this. Yes. Here is the question, guys. Running at 2 fifth as usual speed, Bolt reaches the finish line 10 minutes late. What is his usual time? So, what should be the usual time at which Bolt crosses the finish line? Yes. Piyush, A N nahi aara hai. Matlab you are not able to understand the concept of A N A by N. Don't worry, tab. If you don't understand that concept, you always have a backup. Assume. Jaise maine assume kiya tha, 300 kilometers, 30 kilometers per hour and 10 hours. Yes, you can go for the same thing. So guys, answer for this question, answer for this question. Again, if you are able to answer this question, right? This question is uh, something that will help you understand the depth of this relationship. So answers are in, right? Vibhor and Balram say 20 by 3, Girish says 20 by 3. Deepak, thoda sa check karo, Deepak, your answer is not right. Anuj, 14, no, 14, see, 2 fifth, the speed is going 2 fifth, right? This is... You understand right this is almost half yes if the speed goes half then the time must go almost double right 14 is not double of 10 yes Pratik great superb uh, Nathan 30 no why 30 please check okay so there are multiple ways of dealing with this question multiple ways of dealing with this question right the standard way would be what using equations, right? In both these cases, in both these cases, what will be the distance? Yes, the distance, usual distance would be what? Speed into time. Yes, this time what's happening? Distance becomes what? Distance becomes what? Speed, that becomes two-fifth. So two-fifth of speed, yes, into time, that is 10 minutes extra. So I know, I know that if I use... 10 minutes, then the distance may not be in terms of kilometers or the speed may not be in terms of kilometers per hour. I'm going to be careful here a little bit and use 10 by 60 in terms of hours. Yes. Now, what do I know? That these two distances are equal, right? So if I equate these two, what would happen? The speeds would get cancelled out. Yes. That basically means what? Uh, 2 by 5t and 2 fifth of this or the other way around, right? So 5t. Yes, 5t would be equal to what? 2t plus 10 by 30. Yes. Yeah, that, that is nothing but 3t would be equal to 10 by 30. I think there's something wrong here. 10 minutes late. So 10 minutes extra, 2 fifth of its usual speed. Okay. Okay, we'll get the answer in terms of hours. Yes, great. Okay. 
So this would be what? Uh, sorry, this would become T would be 10 by 90. Yes, 10 by 90 in terms of minutes. In terms of hours, all you'll have to do is what? Multiply it with 60 if your answer is in hours, which would be how much? This would be uh, 60. Yeah, so this would become what? This would be thrice. This would be twice, which is nothing but time is 20 by 3 in terms of minutes. Yes. So you do not have to, so for a question where they do not talk about, you know, hours, you don't even have to uh, involve that there. Yes, but this would be the standard way of doing it, right? Standard way of doing it where we do not know what the speed is, what the time is, what the distance is and all, right? Again, what do you know for a fact? You know for a fact that, you know for a fact that the speed and the time are unknown. So you can again go ahead and assume that, yes. Now the other thing that you can use here is this, yes. Two-fifth of his usual speed. Do you understand? Two-fifth of his usual speed, which means the speed decreases by three-fifth. Do you agree? Yes, there's a decrease in speed by three-fifth. Yes. So if there's an A by N plus A decrease, what will be the increase? Three by two. Yes. Three by five minus three would be what? Three by two. So there will be a three by two increase in the time. Yes. This increase is nothing but this 10 minutes. Simple as that, right? So 3 by 2 of the time. Are you able to see this? I think I'm writing on my face. Yes, so if I were to calculate this, right? So 3, three uh, by 2 of the usual time is nothing but 10 minutes. Or in other words, time is nothing but 20 by 3 minutes. Yes. So what I've done is 2 fifth. If the speed becomes 2 fifth, which means it is decreasing by 1 fifth, correct? 1 minus 2 fifth is what? 3 fifth. So if there's a 3 fifth drop, that basically means what? The increase, right? The increase in the time would have been A by N. Yes, so A by N plus A is this. A by N would be 3 third, sorry, uh, 3 by 2. Yes. 3 by 2 of the time is what? 10 minutes or in terms of minutes, it will be what? 20 by 3 minutes. Got it? Yes. Explain again. Uh, Explain again what this shortcut. You want me to explain the shortcut again? You don't have to go for the traditional method, guys. Do not go for the traditional method because if you see how involved you get in the equations, right? The more you get involved in equations, the longer it will take for you to go for it. Yes. So rather, what I'd what I'd suggest you do is stick to uh, you know the non-conventional method here. Yes. If the speed goes, if the speed decreases by three by five. Yes, two fifth it becomes, which means it decreases by three by five. That means it will increase by three by two. That's it. This increase is nothing but this extra 10 minutes. Got it? Yes, uh, Piyush, Anuj, I hope you guys are able to understand this. Yeah, great. Okay. Yeah, so do you see how, how handy uh, Piyush shortcut way wapas samjha? I think this is pretty clear, no? Two-fifth the speed becomes, which means one minus two-fifth. Yes. So I can let go of everything. I'm going to erase everything, right? The speed becomes two-fifth, which means earlier it was one. Yes, one complete. Out of that, if two-fifth reduces, it basically means what? It decreased by three by five. Yes. So if the speed decreases by three by five, then what happens to the time? It has to increase. Yes, increase by what? a by n this is a by n plus a that is numerator is added to this you have to remove the numerator which would be 3 by 2 so the time increases by 3 by 2 this increase in time is nothing but this extra 10 minutes that he is taking so time becomes what 20 over 3 minutes yes got it yes nancy i think this should help you out now right now let's move on Another question, another question, just for us to understand the relationship even more strong. Yes. So just making this uh, basic concept stronger, that will help us answer a lot of questions. So read this question. Two drivers travel the same distance at 6 and 10 kilometers per hour respectively. If the second driver takes 30 minutes less than the first, then what is the distance traveled by them? So the question here is asking for the distance. Yes.
Yes. So read this answer. Sorry, read this question and let me know what you think the answer is. Yes. Another shortcut. Okay, another shortcut. Very good. Very good. Uh, boy, you can also use this. Yes. Balram has an answer. 7.5 kilometers. How about others? Nimisha has the same, Anuj has the same, very nice, yes, 7.5 kilometers is the answer, yeah. Super, super. So the structured way, the standard way of answering this question would be what? You know, you know that the dis difference between their times, right, the difference between their times is 30 minutes, yes. Since here we have speeds in kilometers per hour, we're going to use it in terms of hours. So 30 minutes is nothing but 30 by 60 hours, which is half an hour. Yes, so difference in the times is half an hour, I know, right? What is the time in the first case? Yes, in this case, the, the longer time would be with the slower speed, right? So six kilometers per hour. So time is nothing but distance by speed, which would be what distance is what I have to find out D. So D by six minus D by 10, because time is distance by speed. Yes, this should be equal to one by two. Yes, now I, I'll take LCM here, then I'll have to cancel it. So I'm gonna make all the denominators 60. Yes, so how can I do it? Multiply this with 10, so this will be 10D. Yes, multiply this with six, this will be 6D. And I have to multiply this with 30, this will be 30. Yes, so do you see how all the 60s are gotten cancelled over? So four times the distance is 30 kilometers, or in other words, the distance is 30 by four, which is 7.5 kilometers. Yes. Yeah, so this would be a faster way to deal with a question like this here, yes. If you want to use, I, I guess this is very straightforward, right? This is something that you already understood. Yes. Correct, Balram. Exactly, right? 15, 20 seconds. That's it. Yes. If at all you want to use the percentage increase, decrease, right? If you want to use percentage increase, decrease, right? So if you see the speed goes from 6 to 10, which means there is a two third increase. Correct. Yes, four out of six increase here, that is two third, right? So if there is a two third increase, what should be the drop? The drop should be three, two by five, right? Two fifth of the time is nothing but 30 minutes, that is one by two. Yes, or in other terms, the time would be what? The time would be five fourth of an hour. Yes, so the time is five fourth of an hour. All you have to do is use this in the first case, so six into pi by four. Yes, distance is speed into time we know. Yes, six into, that is six is the speed, five by four is the time, we'll get 30 by four, which is 7.5, yes. So in this case, in this case, if you can, you know, do this part, right? If you can do this part mentally, yes, still here, then this is a useful method to go with. Otherwise, you can stick to the basics, right? So sometimes for some questions, sticking to equations, linear equations is actually very simple than going for a complex shortcut, right? So the deal here is you have to be decisive whether you want to go for a shortcut or whether you want to stick to the standard way of answering this. Yes. So have you guys understood the relationship between time, speed and distance, everyone? Yes. Can I get can I get a yes from your end? Yes, sir. We've understood this. Yes, because we would use this concept for complicated questions also. And, you know, without understanding the basics, then the complicated questions, may we'd have issues. Right. So I hope you understood uh, the relationship between time, speed and distance. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we've successfully completed another concept. So, you know, let's quickly take a sip of water. Yes, and I think it's also been more than 15 minutes since we've, uh, you know, hydrated ourselves. So let's go ahead and do that. One sip should do. Right, superb. Super, super. Now let's move on to the next concept, right? Let's move on to the next concept. The next concept here is the average speed, right? Now let me give you, let me talk a little bit about average speed. Now the question, some question said that the speed of a, a car was 60 kilometers per hour, the speed of a bike was 30 kilometers per hour, right? A train traveled at, you know, 30 meters per second or whatever, right? Does this mean, so for example, if I say the car, a car travels at 60 kilometers per hour and travels, you know, for three hours, does it mean throughout three hours, the car speed was 60 kilometers per hour? Does it mean the moment the car was started, the speed was 60 kilometers per hour? Even when there were stops in between, signals in between, speed breakers in between, old people crossing the road in between, my speed was still at 60 constant. Of course not, right? Of course not. Why? Because that is not the mo that is not the entire speed. Do you understand? That's not the speed of every moment. Instead, it's the average speed of the entire journey. Yes. So when a question says that a car travels at 60 kilometers per hour, what it actually means is there are momentary speeds, right? Momentary velocities at different moments of time, different moments in the journey, right? But the average speed, so if I consider the total distance that was covered and the total distance that was covered in the given total time, that is nothing but the average speed. Yes. So average speed is nothing but what? Total distance covered over total time. Yes. Total distance covered over total time. That's the average speed. Yeah. So if you've understood this, yes, then let's go ahead and answer an example. Yes. Any Hamilton fans here? Nitin uh, Rishikesh. Okay, if you've not understood the percentage increase decrease concept, right? We call it product consistency also. If you haven't understood A by N, A by N plus A, what I'd suggest is go through the uh, second lecture in uh, percentages. Yes, so there I have very detailedly, very, uh, you know, patiently have explained what A by N increase and what A by N plus A decreases and how does it affect the relationship. Yes. Correct, Vibor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, buddy, for backing me. Yes, so Trikash has an answer. 50 by 3. Balram also says 50 by 3. Very nice. Yeah. So does Vibor. Yes. Superb. So Hamilton can cover 20 kilometers in an hour and another 30 kilometers in two hours. What is his speed over the total distance which basically means what his speed over the total distance is nothing but what yes what is his average speed yes and we know for a fact that average speed is nothing but the total distance that was covered over the total time yes so how much distance does Hamilton cover first 20 kilometers then 30 kilometers which means a total of 50 kilometers were covered yes which were covered in one hour first and two hours later, which means a total of three hours. Yes, so what's his speed? 50 by three kilometers per hour. Yeah. Or 16, two by three kilometers per hour, whatever that works for you. Yes, correct Redox, 16.66 kilometers per hour. Yes, super. Great. Yeah, so that's the concept of average speed. So if you've understood this, then let's go ahead and answer this question. Yes. Another question, another example of how average speed works. Yes, so here is a question. If a train goes from station A to B at 40 and returns at 50 kilometers per hour, then what is the average speed of the train? Yes, very slow train. So what's the average speed? Super. Divya, 50 by 3 for this also is, or was, was it for the previous question? I hope it was for the previous question. Yes. 
45 right balram says 45 trikash says 45 nimisha says 45 rahman says 45 but is that the right answer though correct we got yes the answer is 44.44 kilometers per hour yeah so what you have to remember here guys what you have to remember here is that average speed is not average of the speeds yes average speed is not average of the speeds what you've done is you've just taken arithmetic mean of 40 and 50 right you've added 40 and 50 and you've divided by 2 which is 45 which is wrong yes that will only be the case if the same distance were covered or if the distance were covered in the same time yes so i know i know if the times are constant right if the times are constant for example if i say that i cover one i travel at 40 kilometers per hour for one hour and i travel at 50 kilometers per hour for one hour yes here what i've traveled is 40 kilometers but here what i've traveled is 50 kilometers do you see yes but i know a to b and b to a has to be same but they are not same they are not equal which means arithmetic mean would not make any sense yes arithmetic mean only makes sense if the times are same and if the times are same then it's understood that the distance would also be the same because that's the question then the speed has to be the same correct yes so arithmetic mean which means 45 kilometers an hour guys is incorrect yes this is not right yeah now how would you approach what should be your approach to this question so a lot of your answers are right very good uh Nah, Piyush, nah, no. So that's what I'm saying. That is incorrect. Yes. Anuj, your answer is right. Yes. Uh, Girish, your answer is right. Yeah. Nimisha, uh, no. Let's just check a little. Not 200 by 9. Aju, no. 45 kilometers per hour is the wrong answer, right? So let's see here. Let's see here. What do we know? we know that the distance here right the distance here is the same yes so what's the distance in this case so i know average speed right i know the formula for average speed is what total distance by total time right so if i assume a to b is d kilometers yes a to b is d kilometers so d kilometers from a to b yes and a d kilometers from b to a which means what 2d is the total distance that was covered by the train yes onwards and return yeah two times distance yes and what do i know about time time is nothing but distance by speed so this would be what distance by speed so in the first case it was 40 kilometers per hour in the second case it was 50 kilometers per hour yes so if i take lcm here what would i get instead of taking lcm i'd rather you know just directly multiply so what would i get i would get two times d yes here i'll take d as a common multiple yes so what would i get 50 plus 40 by 50 into 40 right correct so if i cancel out distance what do i get 2 by 50 plus 40 by 50 into 40 which is nothing but 2 into 50 into 40 yes 2 into 50 into 40 over 50 plus 40 yes yeah so this this the reason why i went this long is to bring out the shortcut right the shortcut here is what so whenever you have situations where the distances are equal and only the speeds are given to you right whenever you have situations where the distances are equal and the speeds are given to you the average speed is nothing but 2 times a b by a plus b in this case it would be what 2 times a is nothing but 40 kilometers per hour b is nothing but 50 kilometers per hour over 40 plus 50 yes so this is what we were sitting and deriving here right 2 times 15 to 40 by 50 plus 40 yes which is how much yes this would be how much to get 400 by 9 yes or 4000 by 90 which is 400 by 9 yes so 400 by 9 is how much 4 by 9 into 100 which is 44.44 kilometers yes per hour yeah 
so always remember guys always remember the average speed is not the average of the speeds right it's not the arithmetic mean of the speeds yes so you can always use this shortcut if you want this applies only when the situation is in such a way that the distance covered are equal yes got it yes the same thing i can also answer with the help of allegations but then again if i start off with allegations we only get confused so i think this should do yeah yes correct anuj correct redox correct yes this is the formula yeah so this formula is basically just allegation yeah any confusions then with average speed guys any confusions with average speed so we've seen average speed yes and we've seen average speed when the distances are equal yes aman no it is not 45 aman please check yes i've just explained to you why it is not 45 yeah okay guys superb so if you've liked if you've liked so far what we've done right if you were able to understand absorb everything that we've spoken so far i want you to hit the like button on this video yes if you haven't understood and if you're planning on re-watching this video yes do not forget to hit like then yes and if you think that the next concept is going to be as exciting as the previous ones were then do not forget to hit like yes Uh, Urvi, you will not get the answer wrong if you take the LCM. If you take the LCM, you would get the LCM as 200. Yes. So in this case, if I take the LCM, instead of going this way, if I take the LCM, what would happen? This would become 5D, this would become 4D, and then this would be 200. So if I take this up, it will be 400 by 5D and 4D, which is 9D. Yes. You would not get 200 because you've forgotten this 2. Please check, please check, Urvi. Yeah. Are nahi Balram, not yet, not yet. The session is not over yet, right? Now we have a very fun concept to talk about that is relative speed. Yes, relative speed is one of the most commonly tested concepts in time, speed, and distance, be it for CAT or for any, uh, you know, admission test. Yes. Now the idea here is with relative speed, there would be more than one moving bodies. Yes, in most cases, there'd be two moving bodies, but then each of their speeds would be independent to each other. That means they would not affect the other guy's speed. Yes, so that is relative speed. Now let's see how we could answer this, right? Let's, let's understand what uh, uh, relative speed is. Yes, so let's assume there are two friends, right? There are two friends, A and B, and the distance between them is 100 kilometers, yes? Now, A intends on meeting B. Yes, A is planning on meeting B. Yes, so what A does is A starts moving from his place, right? That is 100 kilometers away from B's place at 30 kilometers per hour. Yes, so at 30 kilometers per hour when A starts moving, right? So if A goes from his place to B's place, yes, if he covers 100 kilometers in 30 kilometers per hour, then how long do you think he would take to cover that distance, guys? Quick. Yes. 100 kilometers is to be covered at 30 kilometers per hour speed. So how long do you think it would take for him to do it? Yes. No, Urvi, you would not get 40 by 9. No. Please check your calculation. Please check your calculation. Correct, Balram, right? So let's say approximately three hours, right? 3.33 hours or approximately three hours, right? So for A to go from A to B, right? This guy to go from A to B, it would take him three hours. Now, now the second situation is what? That A does not want to travel the whole 100 hours individually, right? He does not want to cover the entire 100 kilometers uh, by himself. So he's asking B also to come along, right? Which means A and B would now be meeting somewhere in the middle. Yes. So if A speed is 30 and B speed is 20 kilometers per hour. Yes. You tell me one thing guys, when A and B decide to meet somewhere midway, for example here, right? So if they decide to meet somewhere midway, would it take more time than the first case or less time? This is the first case. This is the second case, right? So you tell me, would the second case take more time than the first case or less time? Yes. 
would it take more time or less time for them to meet more than three hours less than three hours quickly tell me in the second situation what is happening a is also coming towards b and b is also coming towards a they're planning on meeting somewhere in between right less time yes so my answer must be less than three hours if they meet yes now you know that if time decreases right if time decreases what happens to the speed guys if time decreases speed increases right so here technically the speed will increase right not individual speeds will increase but then the overall journey speed would increase right how do i increase speed by adding the speeds yes so the relative speed the relative speed when two moving objects are you know walking towards each other or moving towards each other yes then the speeds are added which is called relative speed right so when they are moving towards each other then their speeds are added so here the relative speed would be what 30 kilometers per hour plus 20 kilometers per hour which is 50 kilometers an hour so 100 kilometers covered at 50 kilometers per hour would take how long guys two hours beautiful yes two hours yes so do you see how this this particular scenario takes less time because logically also if you alone were to cover 100 kilometers it would obviously take way long than if you ask your friend also to meet you halfway correct now let's look at the third scenario right the third scenario is what a wants to meet b but then b does not want to meet a yes you know this happens a lot of time right when you you know how introverts run away from extroverts right so just assume a is an extrovert and b is an introvert and b does not want to you know meet a right in that case what would happen if their speeds are still the same 30 and 20 yes but this time they're not moving towards each other they're not making things easy for themselves instead they're making things difficult for themselves right so what are they doing when a starts moving from here b also starts moving from here yes so they do not meet anywhere in this 100 kilometer area they meet after this yes so in this case you tell me would it take more time than this or less time than this yes when a is trying to chase b would it take more time than three hours or less time than three hours of course more time right more time so if time increases then what happens to the speed guys speed decreases yes and here if i were to decrease the relative speed how will i decrease it by taking the difference of them yes so relative speed would be what difference of the faster moving body with the small the slower moving body yes so here what will happen to the relative speed 30 minus 20 kilometers per hour which is 10 kilometers per hour so 100 kilometers to be covered at 10 kilometers per hour how long would it take 10 hours got it yes so that is the idea behind relative speed yes so whenever whenever there are two moving objects that are moving towards each other yes we also call this as opposite direction because if you see a is moving towards east and b is moving towards west opposite direction right so if the question says opposite direction or if the question says walking towards each other then they would meet somewhere in the middle and their speeds get added got it but if the question says there are two moving objects but then they're moving in the same direction or if they're moving against each other or away from each other do you see how both of these guys are moving towards the east yes so if they're walking away from each other or if they're moving in the same direction then what happens to the relative speed their speeds get subtracted right so difference of their speed is what happens here clear yes yeah great great super so this is the idea here right this is the idea of relative speed yeah now all you have to be careful about right a few things that you have to be careful about yes one when they say opposite direction right so when they say opposite direction you have to be very careful that they mean opposite direction towards each other because opposite direction could be like this also and it could be like this also because these are also opposite direction do you see how this is going towards east this is going towards west opposite direction this is going towards west this is going towards east right opposite directions so you have to be careful about which opposite direction they are talking about yes 
if at all if at all they were moving like this when i say opposite direction and they were moving like this then we have to assume that they're either running on a circular track yes that a and b are running on a circular track yes a goes in this direction and b goes in the opposite direction yes or you have to assume that the earth is not flat yes or you have to assume that the earth is not flat which means if they start here yes any point in india right they'll have to go around the entire planet and then come back to the same part yes yeah clear and and the second thing that you have to keep in mind that whenever there is same direction whenever they are moving in the same direction or whenever one guy is trying to chase the other guy always remember the chaser that is a speed will be greater than b speed do you understand right speed of a will always be greater than speed of b only then a would be able to chase b otherwise this entire thing would keep going on b would keep running faster a would keep trying to chase but then this would never happen got it yes so this is relative speed for you guys please let me know if you understood this then we'll move on to an example yes come on guys let me know if you've understood this so that we can move on to an example yes so what do you have to remember here relative speed that is two moving objects not in contact with each other yes if they are moving in opposite directions then their speeds get added if they're moving in the same directions their speeds get subtracted yes super super right great great girish yolo is right but my question is did you understand you understand only once uh, great super so now let's have a look at an example right so here is an example yes try and read this question carefully you don't have to rush into anything yes read this question carefully and answer the question Oh, I'm so sorry. I I drank of water without. But yeah, this was this was side hustle, right? Side me, thoda sa gat kaliya maine. Uh, Raj Narej, you want one more time? Okay, I'll I'll do it here itself, right? Relative speed. Yes, relative speed. When moving objects are opposite in direction, then you add their speeds. A plus B. Yes, when they are in the same direction, then you have to take the difference. So I'm going to put it as physical difference, positive difference, A and B's difference. Yes. Okay. So read this question and tell me if you've understood this, right? The question says X starts from point 1 at 10 a.m. and travels to point 2 at 40 kilometers per hour. Yes. After an hour, y starts from point 2 and travels to point 1 at 60 kilometers per hour if the distance between point 1 and point 2 is 240 kilometers how far has x traveled before meeting y super vibor yes so vibor has given the answer others no hush right no no hurry here no rush here right you can take your time understand the question sync this information and then give out the answer yes i'll explain this one more time if you want yes the distance between point 1 and point 2 is 240 kilometers. Yes. Train A, is it? X. Yeah. So X starts, X starts from here, point 1 to point 2, and Y from point 2 to point 1. Yes, and they're planning on meeting somewhere in the middle. Yes. What do we know about X? That X speed is what? 40 kilometers per hour. Yes. And y speed is 60 kilometers per hour yes what does the question ask the question says that first x travels for one hour right from 10 to 11 right from 10 to 11 he travels for one hour yes after traveling for one hour y starts so both of these guys would meet somewhere in the middle the question is when they meet how far has x traveled 
yes okay so a lot of right answers 120 kilometers is right 96 is not nimisha 12 is not chaya the question is not at what time do they meet two hours is correct yes the time of two hours is correct but the question is at what distance would they meet right so first let's look at this condition right one hour for one hour who travels alone x travels alone right so x travels alone for one hour which means he would travel at 40 kilometers per hour distance yes 40 kilometers per hour is the speed for one hour he would have covered 40 kilometers yes so now where would a be x would be where 40 kilometers away from point one yes so here this basically means what the distance between these two is no longer 240 it is what 200 kilometers correct now this 200 kilometers is to be covered by both of these guys yes moving towards each other yes so they'll have to meet somewhere in the middle yes one guy traveling at 40 another traveling at 60 so here is where you bring in the concept of relative speed do you get it right when they move towards each other what happens speeds get added right so what is the relative speed now speed of a that is 40 and speed of b that is 60 so the relative speed now is what 100 kilometers per hour and at this speed they have to cover what 200 kilometers so what's the time taken for them to do that 200 kilometers is covered at 100 kilometers per hour speed that is they take two hours to meet yes but the question is not asking at what time would they meet the question is instead asking how much distance would x have traveled yes how much distance would x have traveled which means this point yes what is this distance yeah so two hours two hours at 40 kilometers per hour so the distance he would have traveled from this point right from this point till here would be what two hours at 40 kilometers per hour distance that is 80 kilometers per hour or sorry 80 kilometers yes and initially he had traveled 40 kilometers so that included would be how much 120 kilometers so x has traveled 120 kilometers from point one got it x has traveled 120 kilometers from point one or you can go the other way around also you can go the other way around because this distance would be what total minus this correct yes so at 60 kilometers per hour if y travels or y travels for two hours then he has covered what 120 kilometers yes so out of 240 out of 240 if 120 is covered by y then the other would be covered by x 120 kilometers yes got it yeah so this is the importance of knowing relative speed right otherwise otherwise how else would we have answered this yes start at 10 o'clock 10 o'clock both would have covered 0 0 11 o'clock a would x would have covered 40 y would still be at 0 12 o'clock another hour this guy would have covered another 40 this person would have covered 60 at 1 o'clock what would have happened this guy would have covered 120 this guy would have covered 120 right Got it? Of course, Aju, you can do with ratios also. Yes, you can also deal with ratios. You'll have to make sure that both travel a distance that is whose sum would be 240 kilometers. That's it. Or in this case, in this case, it will not be 240, it will be 200 kilometers because X alone travels, yeah, including, right, including this 240 kilometers. Yes. Superb, superb. Yeah, Rishikesh wants a water celebration for a question like this. Okay, okay. So let us go ahead and celebrate then, guys. This one is for Rishikesh then for reminding us to celebrate with water. Great, superb. Thank you, thank you, Manoj. Yeah. So, Pani ho gaya hai, right? Now, a core question, ho jai, right? One more question from the same concept. Yes, that is here. Yes, similar question. In fact, the same question just changes in numbers. Yes, same question, changes in numbers. Yes. So, go ahead, answer this question. Let's see what you get as the answer. 
There are two trains from Bangalore, sorry, for Bangalore that leave Chennai at 4.30 and 5.15 p.m. and travel at 100 kilometers per hour and 130 per hour. How far from Chennai will the two trains meet is the question. Yes, how far from Chennai, which is the similar question like the previous one, right? Similar question like the previous one. Just that there is a small difference, right? There's a very small difference here. What's the difference? They are no longer traveling opposite to each other. They're not trying to meet each other somewhere in the middle. Instead, one train is trying to chase the other train. Yeah, guys, it's, it's, it's no longer getting stuck now. Yeah. So two trains leave from Chennai to Bangalore, right? One at 4.30, one at 5.15. One travels at 100, another travels at 136. How far from Chennai will the two trains meet? Yes. So Vibor had given an answer earlier, but then he's changed it. Yeah. Do you guys have an answer here? What's the logic here, guys? What's the logic? Balram says A, A is the answer. Okay, so here what do we need, right? What do we need? We need to know that how far they have reached from their destination, right? First things first, how far have they reached from their destination? Yes. So a train that travels at 100 kilometers per hour starts, yes. So the first train starts from Chennai to Bangalore. The first train starts. Yes. How much distance does he cover is the question, right? So he travels for how long from five from 430 to 515 is 45 minutes, right? So at 100 kilometers per hour. Yes. Traveling for 45 minutes. The distance covered by him would be how much since it's in minutes. We have to cover it in convert it in hours. Yes. Which would be how much? Three by fourth of 100. Yes, so 3 fourth of 100 is how much? 75 kilometers. Now, what do we know? We know that this distance, right? This distance between them from Chennai, from second train's starting point till this is what? 75 kilometers. Yes, this distance is enough for us to calculate the time at which they will meet. Yes, the distance is 75 kilometers. Since they are going in the same direction, do you see how both are moving towards the east? Yes, both are moving in the same direction. What should happen to their relative speed, guys? They should be subtracted. Exactly, right? So 136 minus 100 would be what? 36 kilometers per hour, right? So their relative speed now is what? 36 kilometers per hour. Yes. So the time taken, the time taken would be how much? The distance is 75 kilometers. Yes. And their speed is 36 kilometers per hour. Yeah. Now what do we have to do? We have to find out when or how far are they from C. Right. How far are they from Chennai? Yes. So I cannot depend upon the distance covered by the. Okay. I, I can clearly depend upon the distance covered by the second train. Right. So I'm going to do what? This time. Yes. This is the time taken by them. Distance covered by the second train. Right. Would be how much? 75 by 36 hours into 136 kilometers per hour. Yes. If I were to calculate this, what would happen? Yes. This would be. Yeah, so this would be 12 times. This would be 25 times. Yes. This would be three times. This would become 34 times. Yes. 
So this is approximately how much? This could be once, this would be approximately eight. Yes, a little over eight, 8.33 to be in fact, right? Yes, so 34 into eight is how much? 240 plus 32, that is 272 and point something, right? So this will be approximately 280. Yes, the actual answer is what? 283.33 kilometers. Got it? Yes. So I have used what? I have used approximation here because none of these answer choices are nearing to 280. Got it? Yes. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is how I would use relative speed for questions that deal with two moving objects. Yes. And keeping in mind that the speed of one does not directly affect the speed of the other. Yes. Thank you very much for being a part of this session, guys. Yes, I hope you've understood everything that we have spoken, right? The basics of time speed distance, the relationship between them, the conversion of units, average speed and relative speed. Yes, and we've spoken about a lot of shortcuts also today. Yes, and I hope today's session was very much enlightening for you. Yeah, now before you leave, what I want you to do is do not forget to like this video before leaving right like this video in fact subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends let them know that this is happening right if you have any friends who you know are planning on taking any of the you know uh, quantitative aptitude tests right? any test that has a quantitative aptitude section you can always uh, refer them yes you can let them know that this is happening and this is happening free of course yes you want me to repeat from here? Okay, if you want, you can cancel. You can get the time here itself. Yes, this, this particular thing would not happen. Yeah, what we want, what we want is the distance from Chennai, right? So I'm going to, for distance, what do I need? I need speed and I need time, right? So I have the time, I have the time at which the second uh, train has moved, right? The second train's time I have, that is 75 by 36, yes. What is distance? Distance is speed into time yes in this case speed is what 136 time is what so time covered by the second train to go from here till here is what the 75 by 36 yes if you calculate this you would get 283.33 kilometers Yes, which means from here till here, the distance is how much? 283.33. Yes. Got it? Yeah. Superb, superb, guys. Superb. So if you have any other questions, feel free to ask me. Yes. Uh, and if you're planning on asking me on Telegram, right? First, keep in mind that you'll have to join this group. Yes, join this group. My, uh, I am also an admin of the group, so you can always, you know, have a conversation with me personally also if you want to yes and if you are looking for the link yes the link was sent earlier at 7 42 pm if you go back if you scroll down your chat the link was sent to you tinyurl.com backslash an academy chat just click on that link and click on an academy cat you'll be directed to the group yes i'm hoping to talk to a lot of you again right i've already started speaking uh, sorry i have started speaking with a lot of you yes i hope I do that again, yes, and at a higher level as well, yes. And guys, I don't know why I'm why am I repeating this, but then please keep in mind, guys, this is something that I have advised a lot of you to take it, and I'm gonna do it one more time, right? Do not, uh, you know, uh, undervalue this, right? This is actually something that is underpriced, to be frank, right? The Unacademy's Plus subscription, along with live classes and interaction that we do, right? We also have leaderboards that will help you understand where you are with respect to your competitors. Yes, that is the percentile. Test series and analysis, a lot of vendors online are actually asking to pay separately for the test alone. Yes, so this entire thing, right? The course and the test is a whole entire package. And the deal breaker here, guys, is the live doubt clearing sessions. If you come across any questions and you have doubts, right, all you have to do is post a picture and it will get answered. For that, what you'll have to do, be a part of the Plus Academy. So an academy is learning app if you install. And if you go for the Plus subscription, yes, select CAT. Keep in mind that the price is actually very, very affordable, right? Less than 1500 a month. And as an added advantage, if you use this code, Surana Life, you will get extra 10% discount. Yes, because you've, you know, joined uh, 
an academy is plus because of Amit Surana. Yes, if you use Surana Live, you would get an extra 10% discount. Yes. Thank you very much, guys. Yes. Uh, please do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to uh, subscribe to an academy cat and do not forget to click the bell icon if you haven't already started sharing this on your social media platforms guys please go ahead and do that yes i will see you tomorrow again at 6 30 pm with some more concepts from time speed and distance until then good night and have a great day